At a time when the Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment is working on an unmanned ground combat vehicle based on the Arjun Mark 1A tank, the Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has released a request for proposal for the development supply and integration of hardware, and the design and development of auto loader for the unmanned ground combat vehicle. The auto loader will extract the shell and propellant charge from the ammunition storage compartment into the chamber of the 120 mm gun. The Indian Army is also keeping a close watch on the success of Ukrainian anti-tank missiles on Russian tank armor, and the Army is going to incorporate the lessons in the design of its futuristic main battle tank, and the DRDO would also make an attempt to offset that advance in the upcoming future ready main battle tank. The light tank has been included in the recently released third positive indigenization list by December 2025, which is a clear advantage for the DRDO and Larson and Tubro, which have already started fabrication of first prototype at the LNT's armored system complex, and this 35-ton light tank will be rolled out by mid-2023. The DRDO and Indian Army has successfully tested the enhanced Pinaka Mark 1 rocket system and the Pinaka Area Denial Munition rocket systems at the POC run firing ranges yesterday. A total of 24 enhanced Pinaka Mark 1 rockets were fired for different ranges, and it achieved the required accuracy and consistency and met all trial objectives, and with this test the industry partners are ready for user trials followed by series production of the rocket system. The RDO's Vehicle Research and Development Establishment has issued a request for proposal for the development of a 8x8 advanced all-terrain truck powered by indigenous diesel engine with turbocharger, that will be designed to adapt and mount the 155mm mounted gun system, and the intellectual property rights of the complete product will be property of Vehicle Research and Development Establishment. This interesting development comes days after the 155mm 52 caliber mounted gun system was mentioned in third positive indigenization list. It will feature anti-collision system, rear view camera, driving navigation unit, and should have a length of 9600mm and width of 2600mm, and ground clearance of at least 350mm. It should have a speed of 90 km per hour on blacktop roads, and 30 km per hour on cross-country roads, with a range of at least 500 km on full fuel tank. Philippines Marine Corps has activated its shore-based anti-ship missile battalion last week, on which officials have said that personnel from Philippines Marine Corps would start arriving in India from July to start their training on operating the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile system, as Philippines will start receiving the first coastal battery of the BrahMos missile from October 2023. Pakistan has successfully conducted the flight test of the Shaheen-3 surface-to-surface ballistic missile, and said that the test flight was aimed at revalidating various design and technical parameters. Pakistan also claimed, that the Shaheen 3 has a range of 2,750 km, that is capable of reaching the farthest point in India's northeast, and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and Larsen and Tubro has turned out to be the lowest price bidder for making five polar satellite launch vehicle XL variant rocket for the ISRO. The first PSLV XL rocket is expected to be realized in 24 months from the date of award of the contract, that will be followed with delivery of one rocket every six months. The ISRO has also made remarkable progress on the reusable launch vehicle technology demonstrator, and will carry out a key landing experiment this month. Oh,